thank you for the kind introduction. Welcome, everyone. Be Mr. Chairman. I will give the first lecture about three-dimensional echocardiography, the basic principles. And I want to start with this quote. The greatest value of a picture is when it forces us to notice what we never expected to see. And also three-dimensional echocardiography um, creates such images, such beautiful pictures, um, with great morphologic and physiologic information about the heart, which is in fact a three-dimensional structure. And since it was introduced into clinical practice in 2007, it has evolved enormously. Now, two-dimensional echocardiography also provides excellent images, but it requires the mental effort to integrate several cross-sectional views through the heart to produce an accurate assessment. And therefore, it is highly dependent on the expertise and the experience of um, the observers, of the echocardiographists. Three-dimensional echocardiography, on the other hand, increases the accuracy of interpretations by facilitating spatial orientation and the relationship with the surrounding structures. This also facilitates the communication between the echocardiographist and, for example, uh, the surgeon. So, some advantage, advantages of three-dimensional imaging are there is no need for mental reconstruction, which is sometimes difficult for certain people. Um, there are no geometric assumptions. Um, I will come to this later in the presentation because of the spatial orientation, uh, etc. There is a perfect localization of the pathology and it has also educational values. And regarding these um, educational values, I want to give you this. Uh, I will use some, some pictures and some movies from this website, which is, I think, a great, great website. And regarding uh, this topic, the acquisition of uh, 3D images, um, if you're interested, uh, you should take a look at this web website and uh, try something, some of the things out. Yeah. Also recommended are these two publications. Uh, very important is the first one. Are, these are the recommendations for image acquisition and display using three-dimensional echocardiography, published in 2012 uh, by the European and the American Society. And this is a short outline of um, the next of my presentation. And of course, first, the first thing you need to do before acquiring three-dimensional echocardiography data sets is to acquire good 2D images. Poor 2D images means poor 3D images. So try to optimize your two-dimensional images by turning the gain and the compression. And in fact, it's a balance between under gain, which gives you um, certainly in 3D dropouts, the risk of dropouts, which you can see here pointed out with the, the white arrows. Or you can use too much gain, which give rise to snow or this brownish smoke, which you will see here. So try to optimize your two-dimensional image before acquiring uh, three-dimensional data sets. Now, three-dimensional echocardiography uses this matrix transducers, which contains more than 3,000 elements, which is beautiful because we can get beautiful three-dimensional uh, images, but we can also get two-dimensional um, planes, or even two two-dimensional planes at the same time, which is called biplane or x-plane. Your first image, for example, the four-chamber view, can be used as a standard view, and the second view is perpendicular to this view, and you can use this second uh, plane to um, scan the whole heart, which is um, a very cool thing to do. 